I hope you'll understand why it would be inappropriate for me to comment on an ongoing investigation. I can answer all of your questions about urgency. I can answer all of your questions about the importance that we place on it within the UK Ministry of Defence. But given that we've waited for nine years for this to come to justice, the last thing that I would want to do now is to misspeak and say something silly that then prejudices a court case, which means that justice ends up not being possible. So, well, Madam, forgive me, you're behind the light. <laughs> Sorry. Um, one letter from Sky News. So what, what would the UK government do to ensure that incidents such as this do not occur again, not only here, but in other places where your armed forces have a presence? Well, I mean, look, the, the easiest answer and I have to say that it was our immediate answer in the MOD in London, is that we should say commander here in Batford, you know, lock the gates, keep the troops behind the wire, don't let them out so none of this can happen again. But that's not partnership. That's not what Kenyan uh, businesses want here in Nanuki. They want to be able to do business with our troops. So actually, I'm afraid the answer is much more complicated because what this answer is is about saying to our armed forces, that when they come here to train, the mindset needs to be the same as when they operate. I'm very proud of the way that when British Armed Forces operate in some very challenging parts of the world, as they are on the UN peacekeeping mission in Mali right now, they train and they understand that they need to respect all parts of the community, men, women, children, that they must live the values that they are standing up for when they're there with the blue beret of the UN on their head. And actually, when they come here to train, the mindset should be no different. Those who we have the privilege to meet uh, in the community here in Nanuki, our hosts here in Kenya, need to be respected in exactly the same way as we would do if we were on operations. And I hope that we can make that message clear to everybody within the Army, Navy, and the Air Force, that their behavior here reflects the United Kingdom. Their, their behavior here reflects the traditions of the British Armed Forces and that what's happened here, what is alleged to have happened here, frankly has let down the British Armed Forces and we want to rebuild those relationships, rebuild trust, because the UK-Kenya relationship is so important to both countries in a region where right now this relationship needs to be working hard to deliver stability in East Africa. And I think that you know, everybody involved needs to sort of just make sure that that's the priority and that we just respect each other and we make sure we get this right in the future. Do you think there was a cover-up, please? Um, Do you think there was a cover-up since it's said that our senior military officials knew that this case happened, but it's taken nine years for it to get I, to... I honestly don't know, to be, to be completely honest with you, uh, but I am making damn sure that I find out. So, uh, have you had one already, sir? I, I wanted to ask, uh, we talked to the Rock Committee and uh, nobody seems to have a clue how you would you mind taking off your mask so I can hear you, sir? Sorry. Yes. Uh, my name is Owen. I work for Standard Media. Yes. Nobody seems to have a clue how you arrived at the local representative you have met. Even the local government says you didn't have an invite. So oh, as in who was invited to come? Yes. Uh, my colleagues here in Batuk arranged the attendance for the meeting this evening. Uh, I'm confident that it represented a good cross-section of the community. Certainly their questioning was uh, robust, um, far more robust than some of the questioning I've had in the UK House of Commons. And I hope that they've left reflecting on some honest answers. Some of the answers weren't necessarily the ones they wanted to hear, but they came in order to hear what I had to say, to hear the view of the British government, and I hope that they go away having had that. Um, there have been lots of opportunities for politicians here in uh, Nanuki and Waikipia County to meet with my colleague, the High Commissioner. She spent the afternoon with many of them, and I know that there won't be a single one of them that she wouldn't be willing to meet uh, in the days ahead. Thank you all very much indeed. Thank you.